Welcome to the old Lumens channel. I'm uh, sitting inside the house in the kitchen today. I want to do a quick video to show uh, people who do not have a lathe how you can do some trim, uh, cosmetic trim work, trim rings uh, on a mag light. It, this method is, has got to be done on a smooth body. Um, so you're not going to do it with a lot of the Chinese lights, but mag lights, of course, are a uh, nice smooth body. This is just a, 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 a scrap piece, uh, and it has the, the knurling. It's a section I, I've taken off a blue mag light. And the way I start with is a tubing cutter. Okay, I'm going to mark a, a ring on the light with a tubing cutter, and I've put masking tape over top of the metal so that the tubing cutter is only going to leave just the mark that I want and, and not you know put any gouges or any other marks on it and then I'm just going to take the tubing cutter put it in there and tighten it down and then I'm just going to run the tubing cutter around the pipe or I'm going to try anyways um, Seeing as how I'm using a real small piece of pipe, there's not much to grip onto. It'd be a lot better to do this in a vise, but I'm outside instead of in, or I'm inside instead of outside. So. And you don't want to cut too awful deep because actually, you know, these tubing cutters, you, you could cut the whole pipe, the whole aluminum <laughs> tube with it, cut it right in two. But I just want to make a, a starter um, so that when I use files, I can open that up. So now I'll get some tape off of here and take a look and see what it looks like. And I've already done one on here, one on here already. Isn't it fascinating how that's already done? Uh, anyways, I've, I've got that in there, and we got to get the the tape out of the line. We'll get that cleaned out. But to give you an idea. Um, I have file some files here. This is a small triangular file, like a jeweler's file. And all I got to do is start it in that line. Okay and just you know carefully work that all the way around all right you work it all the way you know and, and do it in a vise instead of doing it like this but I'm just trying to show you an idea and it widens the line up then I can take a larger file triangular file and depending on how wide I want and and what depth I can work again you know all the way around and just just work on making it even all the way around and widen that up even more okay uh, then I have a couple diamond files a diamond file will give you a little finer finish okay and then I also have a diamond knife point file which will give you uh, a little bit of a wider bottom in, in the channel and uh, that's that's the one I used for the, the blue lights that I did is to use that as the final file okay and you can hopefully see that we got a nice ring cut in there then I'll take some some six or eight hundred grit sandpaper, uh, fold it over, and just take it and, and rub it in the channel, okay, just to to smooth it off a little bit. I'll also take some um, um, <clears throat> four aught steel wool and put a little on my finger and just rub it in that channel to smooth it down, 
and you just want to get in the channel you don't want to smooth the surface or do it on the surface very much and you just do it very lightly with a little bit then uh, I have some uh, Haggerty's here uh, and, and I usually use uh, the MAAS the Moss I have that out in the, in the garage but I have the Haggerty's inside because we use it on the pots and pans all metal polish you take a little bit of that and, and a little tiny bit of it on, on a rag or a paper towel even uh, and, and the same with your finger you get in there with your finger and just rub inside of that channel and you'll be amazed at how fast that polishes out with the uh, with the uh, that uh, Haggerty or the uh, Moss polish um, that's that's it I mean it's a simple way for for uh, somebody who does not have a lathe to be able to do a few uh, cosmetic rings uh, on a maglite, you can space them, uh, you know, however you want and, and wherever you want. Uh, and that's about it. Thanks. Oh, and one final note um, in this, as I probably should have said all along, is once you have this uh, this channel uh, filed, uh, there's no reason why you can't take masking tape again, um, you know, and, and uh, go over both edges. Or alongside alongside of the out the edges there, uh, when you go to start sanding and when you go to start using steel wool, uh, I don't do it just because I've done it so much I don't even think about it. But I, I did think about it while I was doing it or while I was looking at the video that uh, it probably would be a problem for people who haven't done this very much. You can remove the anno pretty easily, uh, so you after you've done your your filing uh, and you're ready to smooth things down you can run tape along both edges of that seam and that way you, you have a better shot at just working in in the channel itself rather than hurting anything on the outside okay that's it thanks